All right there, BBPN, and guess there, sudden change of schedule here, because yes, indeed, BBPN Season 11, the All-Star Season, has indeed gotten more of the games actually done and dealt with there, so we're going to go back to that, because, well, they got to pay the bills, don't they, here? Yeah? And they're very active indeed. see what Constable Julius is going to throw at us here today. Yeah, Ed's taking the day off. <laughs> of course he is. He's tired. Besides, who else is going to spend his wife's money? At least that's what he keeps telling me anyway there. So, great matchup. Week number two here. And yes, standing off against each other. It's the Nurgle Firm versus the Kenry Firm. And they are two very different styles. Both of them practicing, you know, lack of Bill Bexley speed, maybe? It's... You can see Tromaville, the Nurgles, very hard-hitting, very powerful team here. They've just had a bit of a misstep, it feels like, so far this season. But don't worry, they figured they'll get their legs under them unless they slip again. Meanwhile, Kemri, well, there's only so much you can expect from Kemri. But that's all right. Kemri, it's just a very durable team. But you can see here, yes, they brought in Hack and Slash. They brought in the Chainsaw. And they're going to see if that helps turn things around here. Oh, <coughs> hooty hoo indeed. There we go. Solid kick. And here we go. On our way. And hey, free reroll. What? No! What? No! No! Ah, no! And already you're hearing the protest there from the Tromaville coach. He's not happy about that. He's not happy at all. How dare you give the Kemri a reroll? They don't fucking need it. They already had fucking four. Well, they've got five now. And of course, they're coming in with a bit of booze. And they have a wizard loaded, ready for bear. Well, we've seen how wizards have been most of this season. So awkward indeed. Yep, the great BBPN takeover does indeed continue. Well, that was the whole point, you know? It's why we changed it over there, because we saw, oh, these games have been played. All right, last bit, changed the schedule. Let's tuck this in there, because Bloody Awful is going through the divisional wild card sort-offs. It's technically not the playoffs, yet still is kind of part of the playoffs, determining how the seeding for wild cards and everything else works. Basically, you need a flow chart. <laughs> you really fucking do. All right, here he goes. Easy peasy. Avling squeezy. He's got the calico and moves along in. No problem. He's getting himself nice and tucked in. This is not exactly a safe position to be in there. But, you know, Camry's thinking, you know, that might just hold. Will they? Oh, who knows? Meanwhile, here we go. Fluffy's about to take the foul. Here we go. I approve. Do indeed. Cut. Takes one right into the giblets. And that indeed is KO. Bye bye. Bye bye. I will find you. And I will kill you. Well, didn't kill him, but certainly wrecked him. And that is a very efficient little foul there. Very efficient foul indeed. Gets rid of Fluffy. That is one of the bigger threats that was there on the pitch here. And now Nurgle. Well, the Tromaville Toxies have got a lot of views to do here. So. Many times we've discussed here, when it comes to Nurgle, Nurgle excels at defense. But already this is starting to become a problem. Solid block with a claw, solid takedown. Message for you, sir. And he achieves two thirds of the fifths of fuck all. Yeah, you fool indeed. He then takes both down there on the Tomb Guardian just to knock him down, decides to conserve the rear roll. He's got three. It's a good decision. It really is, because there's no money below here. He's not too concerned. It is rotter. But doesn't get any results. Meanwhile, Kenry turning the corner early here. Going after the flank. Push me. Push you here. And, well, it looks like they're deciding how do they want to do this here. Do they want to go for an early surf? Do they want to go for early containment? Do they want to move their balls around here? Their jank is definitely getting in the way. Yeah, that's one way of putting it there. Meanwhile, turning around here. Please stand up. 
Please stand up. Yep. Tomb Guardians. They've got a lot of work to do here. Now with the Fluffy being removed here. They're feeling a little bit more confident. Oh, look at that cockiness right here. Now remember, he is in his goblin disguise. They never fixed the skin. They never did. So yeah, he's still in the filler model. Invitational match. Looking forward to that. I'll try and get as many of those cast in as I can here. It should be a glorious week. Panda, of course, needs his ego stroke, as I understand. Meanwhile, moving along here. Well, he's formed the cage. He's just forgotten to put the ball inside, hasn't he? Maybe it's a trap. It could indeed be a cunning trap. So cunning, he could stick a tail on it and call it a fox. Solid hit right there on the front line here. Nurgle gets to work. Got him! I broke your stupid crap, moron! Fortunately, it's only a stun. Not exactly what Nurgle wants at the moment. Nurgle wants minimum KOs. And even then, that's kind of a debate, isn't it? That is kind of a debate, considering there is, you know, a little extra ether. Oh! You fool! Yeah, you fool indeed! He goes in what with what we call the kill gore, has a hit, greeds it, Fails it utterly. And there goes the surf. Bye bye. Well, he's not dead, but he is definitely removed here. You can see what he did there. It, it's not like he failed the block, but then he decided to greed the block, and that's what led to the failure. Because he doesn't have block. Yep, rolled himself into a 1 and 9. Oh, well, real damn shame, that. Real damn shame. Basically, Tromaville trying to make something happen. All right, Kemri, enjoying it. You never greed the kill goal. Yeah, kill piece without block. Yep, yeah, you got that right, Pontiac. You do have that. He's built everything else into it but the block. Awkward, isn't that? All right, me. What sort of airport tomb guardian? Ah, beautiful slug down right there. Hey, beautiful and palatable hit. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. It is indeed how a life is taken there. And all those other ways you can do that. But you know what? That will do just fine, Rabbit. That will do just fine. Well, maybe not really. <laughs> yeah, not everyone has time for blocks there. All right, there he goes. Lovely little chainsaw. It's time to do the foul. Let's do the dirty. Is it dead once again? Panda! It's just a KO. It's only a KO, but already here, Kemri are showing a very sincere and beautiful type of dominance here. Yeah, I mean, right now, Kemri coach is just letting you know. Eat the donkey dick for Nubis. Constable Julius still hasn't seen anything worth calling. He's not bothering. And the incoming preceding beatings will carry on. Traumaville, well, this is awkward. Yep, he's got four removals, maybe five, because one is indeed a surf. So he's down to seven players on the field, desperately trying to hang on at this point here. So much for being all the top defensive teams. Uh, they, they, they're just having a rough day. Hey, well, rough cows. Yay! <laughs> That is what they wanted to do there. The coach is no longer panicking anymore there. You can get off the respirator. Does the re does regeneration work? Yes, it fails miserably. And the trauma fans definitely hear the support on that one there. Yes, indeed they do. All right, back down the pitch here. As you can see, furiously trying to save players as fast as he can here. Traumaville's not giving up without a sludge match. And meanwhile, Traumaville continue to allow... Why? Just why? I need to hug a bunny. Right now! You know, he had a glimmer of something, that flag and golf hope. He had a glimmer. Not for long, he did. Not for long. And now, yep, let's face it here. The privateers just relentlessly march down the field. Because that's what Kenry is what to do here. And so far, they've only suffered the one injury. They have plenty of reserves. I don't think they really care. Push me, push you here. A relentless pummeling assault coming down in here. Here he comes, mighty blow! There we go, solid hit right there. Takes him down. Gets a good solid whack job right there. Meanwhile over there, another solid hit there from the blitz right there. Gets a nice takedown like there. Yeah, it's all stars. Yeah, there's lots of skills all over the place here. Meanwhile, Kenry continue a relentless assault down the pitch here. He's got this one nicely all preoccupied tied up. Well, where's the ball going? 
Well, the ball's gonna go there, but you know what that means? This calls for foulings! Foulings, all right! Foulings, delightful! You may foul when ready. Well, he is ready right there. There we go. Choo, choo, choo on me. Oh, bugger! Well, Julius Folly says that's a little obvious there. And has to call the card on that one then. Hack! He's off. Well, so much for that idea. Don't blame you. It's absolutely the right call right there to do the foul. And now here we are, Tromerville. Can they somehow recover this? It's going to take a miracle. It will take a miracle. Well, he makes all the GFIs, gets in there, and only gets push. And doesn't greet the reroll. He's learned his fucking lesson from before here. Meanwhile, Roddick quickly makes the uh, elegant dive, as it were. Gets over here to help out. Meanwhile, two red dice uphill. He's desperately trying to make something work. He gets a push. At least it's not a foul. At least it's not a foul. Yeah. At least it's not a fail either, for that matter. Meanwhile, Kenry continuing a relentless assault down here. Big punch down the pool. Oh dear! Destroyed. Yeah, destroyed. All right, Surf Nazi USA. Surf Nazi USA. Yeah, I think the Trevor coach is not too happy about that. He's not too happy at all. And of course, fails regeneration. We are 0 for 2 across the board here, lads. Regeneration doesn't work. And the beatings will continue till the morale improves. Obliterated. Well, that's a nice, lovely stun. Camrain continues its relentless and ponderous assault. Turn 5. Remember, they've got a wizard in reserve. And, well, they did get the chainsaw ejected, but let's face it. Hack did his job. Two fucking KOs. He did his fucking job. He has mercilessly helped cripple this trauma team. And if these stay out, well, even better. Oh, there's the fail. Fails it there. Now he gets to use one of five rerolls. Push me, push you. I need to hug a bunny right now. Because we saw what was coming, lads. We saw what was coming. There's the surf. Yeah, well, maybe he does have to. You can see it. He's getting back to the ventilator again. But you know what? He's fine. It's early a reserve. It's put in there. He's not worried. But it does make his, his life so much more fucking difficult, doesn't it? Like, how are you counting here? One, two, three. Where's number four? There he is. Maybe it's already three. More dust. More ashes. More disappointment. Do the gerbils really fucking care? Not really. Not really at all. Yeah, yeah. Tripped up by a gerbil. Even stuns him. At least it doesn't fucking kill him. So now we continue the relentless advance down the field here by the Kermery Firm. 2-6 here. They are 100% in control of this drive here. Of course, we've all seen a team fail to score on the final turn when something goes horrifically wrong. So we'll see how he plays this. You've even had a broadcast from me. Well, that's exactly what happened. The easy block. Double files it. And then doesn't score. Kenry, right now, casual, relentless, do you foul? Is the most important question everyone's asking. Why is this even a question? I swear. Come on, is it dead? There can be no hope in this hell. No hope at all. Well, there better not be any hope there, but there we go. Solid KO, yet another removal. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, yeah, it's definitely telling you to eat that donkey dick of Anubis on that play there. And meanwhile, Kenry, continue the crazy assault down the field here. As you can see, we are now down to, yep, you're counting it right now for... That ain't much. Remember, this did start off 11 on 11 with reserves. Nurgle, that was his turn. Roll over, I'm beaten. And then we stop, stop for justice, and we clap, clap, clap for victory. Yeah, that's the way this game is turning out to here. Camry, slow, methodical, moving down the field here. Now, they can easily foul. They have reserves. Admittedly, they have now lost two players, but they have reserves. Is that the right goal? I would say 100% it's the right goal here. Keep removing players from the pitch and decided this time he's going after a rotter. Why is that Marigold? It's got kick, it's got god. It's absolutely a fantastic fucking target. Well it is. 
Oh, he's making sure this is a pr proper gang buying here. Thank the children. Cover your eyes. This is gonna get ugly. A death by inches. Can it be? be? Can it be? Be? But it's early a stun. It's early a stun. Flips over. I'm beating. Yeah, not even taking the chance there. There's the score. It's one to nil. Well, they definitely have advanced that in like a domino. They really fucking have. They did a great job with that one there. Right, turning around here. Nurgle now on the attack. Let's take a look how they recovered. And, well, notice two kill goals up back on the field. Yeah, that's kind of awkward. What else do you want to call them? They're both Nurgle Warriors, yes I know, but they're pretty much all Kilgore's, all in name anyway here. The actual Kilgore himself still on the field there. But I tell you, against what you're facing here, both those Warriors out with Claw and Monty Blow, and they're both still KO'd? You really don't need luck like that, lad. You really don't need luck like that. Yeah, I know. Absolutely too many Kilgore's. I can see the panic on his face right now. Bonk. All right, let's get it started in here. Let's get. Oh, you, you look like you could use a drink. You kidding me? Mistake. Indeed, mistake. Cheers. Oh, that was a good one. I've been waiting for that one all fucking day. There, yes, definitely stole the horseshoe. However, you know, many people would always describe Kemri is an art form to play. They really are, and when you get opportunities. You gotta take advantage of it and think very cunning. Nurgle, well, offense isn't the speciality normally. Solid hit, solid kick. More dust, more ashes, more disappointment. And of course, solid stun. He, like he, as he says before, and he'll say it again. He needs fucking removals at this point. Charges him with the kill door. Which doesn't have block, so once again has to burn a reroll just to try and make something happen. Come here! Hello, what have we here? Um, you wanna know what you got there? Nothing. Absolutely fuck all nothing. Nope, fails to break even with the pylon, mighty blow, claw, bag of crisps, gonorrhea, nothing. There we go, cheese, please. It's not happening, lad. It's fucking not happening at all. <laughs> oh, well, off to halftime we go, lads. Scores 1 to 0 for the Camry. This halftime, of course, is brought to everyone's favorite song, Slipping in the Rain. Come watch the Camry musical telling the great saga of how the Camry finally won it all. Singing in the rain, He's laughing again. And he's beating and fisting in the rain. I don't want the storm clouds chase. I really don't. Not really. Okay, so here we go. Behold, it's time for Nurgle to turn this one around. Well, at least they got one of them back, but let's see if he manages to put it on the pitch. Fun fact, that does seem to happen to every coach at least once. They suddenly forget they've got new players and forget to swap them on. Trust me, I've done it too. Mind you, I have an excuse. A lot of excuses, usually. Ugh, some of them not even toxic. No, I... What do you mean, what have become famous? For what? Ah, fuck you. Go away. Piss off. I'm already famous. Famous in my own mind. There we go. Moving along here. So what we got there, it's called the moderator's is early as pay. That's what he's doing there. There we go, solid kick. Everyone gets a reroll. You get a reroll. You get a reroll. Everyone gets a reroll. <laughs> How you doing, you old pirate? Well, 
the, the Kebri Pirates, does that count there? Yep, yeah, I actually will testify that one there. Nagel! Well, it's hurry up offense, something they do not do well, but right now they're doing the job! <laughs> Well, that folly gets some celebration going over there with the Trillium supporters. They are delighted. Yep, that's the Glee Club. See, he knows where that that reference is from. He knows that one. If you didn't name the team, he's got to know that one. All right, here we go, lads. Can they get the ball and can they score? Well, yeah, that's two separate problems, isn't it? Don't strain the couch. You can only deal with one at a time. All right, first up, he's dealing with fistings. Lots and lots of fistings. Did he get that one? Don't make me drag you out of there. He loved to drag him out of there with his fists. Yes, that's what he wanted. It's a KO. Sort of. All right, now I hate to say it now. The spawners do agree. They will take that. That is off the pitch, off the reservation. And now that makes it an 11 on 9 drive. Yes, he did remember to swap the player. Just figured you all know. Easy peasy, happy squeezy. He's got the calico there and he's on his way. He's on his way. He just loves touching his balls, I tell you. Hey, hey shut up. It's my broadcast. All right, Fluffy just sits there, nice and idle, waiting to get the gift, as the case may be. And now the Camry decided to just get in the Donny. Yeah, this is absolutely... Let's get stock in there and try and make a memory. There we go. Solid blocking in the right. It takes him down. And that's it. That's all he fucking does. Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. Are you now? Awkward. Yeah, right. Yeah. Is the sister watching later? I don't know. Don't care. Don't care. All right. So now let's see... What can Nurgle do for you here? Nurgle knows tying with two player advantage should be easy. Keyword, should. But are they going to go and play for the win? And when it comes to build Baxley speed, Nurgle's not necessarily built for it there. Yes, they do have players that move six, but they're not really a speed team. Mind you, they're facing Kemri. Not exactly a speed team either, so... It's a very awkward situation. We'll see how they actually deal with it there. And still waiting for the checks to stop bouncing. Yeah, I know what that means. Mean what solid it? Solid take down. There we go. Is it dead? Come on! It's a start. Stop! Stop! He's already dead. Well, no, he's not. He's not dead at all. He's still going. Look, I can hear a heartbeat every 10 minutes still coming from that bloody thing. But the supporters will absolutely agree. That was delightful. That does make it down to an 11 on 8. There's the foul. Does he get him? Nope. What's with kids today, huh? No respect. It's the right move. It's 100% the right move. He's got, re he's got spare rodders, sort of, and he needs to foul. He needs to really clear this pitch in order to try and score and open things up if he can score early to make it 2 to 1. So he's thinking ahead here. He's stinking, he's stinking, he's stinking hard. Charges in with a tube guarding one die. Fails it miserably. Has to reroll that. All he gets is a push and stand firm. No, it's not a charge. It's not a charge. Shut up. Greens the one roll here. Does indeed get the takedown. And wait, where the fuck are you going? Uh oh. Yep, you got it. He's doing the risky thing. He's going to go and foul him. I'm collateral damage. <laughs> and Cosmo Julius immediately ejects him for it. He immediately ejects him for it. He ain't standing that for one fucking second. So, yeah, congratulations. He's now down four fucking players on the defense. It's now 11 on 7. Nurgle definitely taking control of this drive here. And like we said, now the question is, will Nurgle hurry up their offense to try and make it a 2-1 game? There we go. Solid hit with the pile on, and he's going to make sure this bastard is it dead this time. No! Because here at Globo Gym, we're better than you, and we know it. You know, it's what we keep saying there. Don't you hate when pile on just does not do its job, just does not do its fucking job at all. Meanwhile, push me. Push you there. 
And right now, Trauma still trying to make things work. There we go. Solid hit. Did he get that one? No! Don't make me drag you out of there. You know, it's fouling everywhere. It's just not working, is it? Uh, not working! Who do you think you are? Chorf team. Meanwhile, Fluffy, everyone falls down in a heap. So much for that idea. And over to the other side we go. Yes, indeed, indeed. Kemri, at this juncture, they're down four players. Four players have been removed. They're down to seven. It's now, okay, mirror reflection. However, you can see here the Tomb Guardians are definitely trying to give what four slowing down Nurgle. Nurgle, to be fair, now has to start using what mobility they've got and just outrun this Kemri team. Stupid idiot. Get out of the camera! Thank you. Oh, don't you hate that on the ground level. And right now, Kemri does get stunned out of that one there. Moves along, and you can see how Kemri is now stacked. What little defense they got left. They're hoping Nurgle try something aggressive rather than focusing on scoring. Will that work? We'll see. Well, Nurgle seems to be focusing fire here. Meanwhile, charges in. Comes in with the claw. Gets the two dice. Set to push me. Fuck you. That doesn't work. <sighs> I can do that. No, you can't do that. You failed, you miserable cunt. Meanwhile, solid block right there. Knocks the other tomb guardian down, but... Are we scoring anytime soon? You are aware Kenry's got a wizard. You need to start moving. You can't be standing here. You really can't. You just made the list. Yes, yes, he did. There went the fireball. Yeah, once again, nope. Regeneration fails for the third fucking time this game. That is an injury. I don't blame the fireball. It does get two knockdowns, one an actual injury there. And yes, regener regeneration, not for three. Tomb Guardians, continuing rel relentless little pounding it and pounding it. Push me, push you here. And now, will they go after the ball carrier? The ball carrier now does have the options if he would just start moving. Can he move now? Oh, that's gonna hurt! He does indeed. Can you lightning bolt the ball carry? I don't know. Some would say that was an effective fireball. Some would indeed say that. You know? It did it do its job? Well, it got the mark. So, column A, column B. It's all really going to come down to what the next play happens there. You know? Foresight, foreskin, forthwith. All that little good stuff there. And once again, Tromaville battling away. <laughs> Complaining all the way as we speak because, well, it's doing a great job of most of it all KOs. He'd really like to see a real true removal, aka an injury. He hasn't seen one of those in a while. Meanwhile, over here, there's the block, there's the take down, Tomb Guardian falls over, and he still can't kill the thing. Remember, this one doesn't have claw. He is missing his claws. You thought the claws would be a huge deciding factor this game? They really haven't. Makes the dodge, makes it look easy, and there he goes! Overtime. That's what he's hoping. Meanwhile, makes another dodge. Continues the coverage going down the field here. And now, it is up to Kenry. Can Kenry find a way to stop this drive? Two dice over here. Push me. Push you here. It's not getting anywhere. That's a dirty player not doing his fucking job. Tomb Guardian. All the way across the field. Makes the first GFI. Makes the second GFI. Push me. Fuck you. That's all he gets. But does manage to mark him up. One, two, three, four, five, six, go, go. He can score, no problem. Pfft. Famous last words, isn't it? Camry manages to get another player tucked in there, but all it takes is a, you know, not a one in nine, but stand firm. Fuck you. And, all right, Camry's basically shot his ball to you. I mean, what? Well, push me, push you. Well, might as well go for the surf. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, all this lad. That was strangely arousing. It was indeed. It was indeed. Then he makes the dodge. He makes the hard one. Kill him. Do it. Shoot him. 
What did we just watch there? What did we just watch? Roll day six, and meanwhile, there's the counterattack. What's done is done. And that is it. He gets a Tomb Guardian, takes him right off the pitch, off the reservation. The Trauma fans absolutely delighted by that turn of events there. Oh, boo! Boo! Oh, yes! Yeah, oh, yes, indeed. Charges in. Well, guess what? There's a solid hit. It takes rear the tackle, takes him down, no problem. Your creatures are becoming angry. Meanwhile, over here, going after another player, gets another solid hit, another solid takedown. Now it's just an easy dodge away. It's an easy dodge away. It's an easy dodge away. You know that's jinxing it, don't you? All right, be wild. Troma continuing a relentless push down the field. Turn 14. Ow. Oh. Heroes never die. What was that I said about a 1 in 9? There's no fucking way this could possibly happen. Not again. Yeah, pretty much there. Not a fucking better. Not really much you can do about that one there. All right. Privateers get to work. And there's the injury. Yeah. Yep. Keldor is officially injured. His head is indeed rattled. Does he make the regeneration? Yes, he does. Now we're on course again. We're starting to make regenerations all over again. Yeah, it is fantastic. Meanwhile, here we go. Push me, push you here. The ball has bounced into a very awkward position here. It's not good for either firm. But with Kenry up 1-0, that's pretty huge at the moment here. All right. Meanwhile, one die block gets away with it too. Gets the push me, push you. He's going to run up. Ow! My God. Yay. Yeah, my God indeed. He's got the calico. He's going to force Nurgle to have to do something about it. Has to reroll that. Does get the hit. Gets the takedown. My nipples explode with the leg. They might indeed. They might indeed. But the ball bounces. It's not the bouncy wards. It's still in the tackle zone. And yes. Tromaville. Three rerolls left. Clock ticking down on turn 15. Needs to, of all things, get a rodder down here. With the AG3. Remember, rodders are AG3. That's the backup. He's got to get him down here and start protecting his balls. The player he needs to get it is this one, though, because he's got the dodge. How can this possibly go wrong? Oh, wait. Yeah, I know. Meanwhile, there it is. He makes the first dodge. Now as he make the second in, 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 in. I find your lack of faith disturbing. And of all the squares it can bounce to, it's that one. Probably, potentially, all the better squares it could have bounced to for Kenry. And now the Kenry firm counterattacks. And that is one hell of a mighty blow, lads. One hell of a mighty blow. Stuns the potential ball carrier. And it's going to come down to the fucking rodder. It's going to come down to the rodder. Well, that never goes wrong, does it? Ask the moderator. Yeah, hidden 95 blitz rate. It really is. Meanwhile, over here. Big hit. Big takedown. Another rodder goes flying. Doesn't go pop, though. And that is it. Turn 16 for the Tromaville Toxies. Desperately trying to save the situation. Yeah, should have hit him into the ball, lad. Yeah, should have hit him into the ball. Because you need the ball to bounce somewhere. It, there's not really doing too good unless you get rid of this lad. He's going to try. Yep, he's going to try. Crap. Shit. Fuck. I really, really think that sucks. It does indeed. It does indeed. There went the precious reroll. Two dice. Does get the block. Does get the takedown. And he even gets the removal. Woohoo! And back to regeneration fail again. But now it all comes down to this. He has to get the ball. You know? If that had actually bounced into his hands... I... Hey, that's pretty good. You saw the rolls. Double one. Nothing you can do about it. A fucking double one. There's the takedown right there. Kenry, last turn. Doing an amazing job here. It has been a crazy one. That many removals, and yet, and yet, here we are. Four straight, all the answer removals against the Kenry Firm, and yet somehow, 
Somehow they hang on for dear life. And there it is. Your final result there. One to nil. The camera find a way to get a win. The Tremorville Toxies swells the coach will tell you. And he's going to be back to the methamphetamines very shortly. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for your support here. That's why it makes the channel all possible. Remember, later tonight, it's Woden's Day. And it might be the grand finale of the Great Crusade of Squirrel and Wolf. We'll see you at 2000 Hours MST later tonight there. Enough all, bless your dice.